Hello friends, welcome back to this video on analog communication. In this video, we will see some in interesting things related to the superheterodyne receiver. So I have already introduced the superheterodyne receiver in my previous video. So let's have a quick review. So this was the antenna. This was the first block of the superheterodyne receiver. So here the EM waves will come and fall onto this antenna and this antenna will convert the EM wave into the electrical signal. So after that the second block was RF amplifier. I already told you the various advantages of the RF amplifier. First it is amplifier so it would be tackling the sensitivity issue. So it is providing better sensitivity. Second, it is connected to a tuned circuit which is used to select the desired signal. So it is improving the selectivity as well. It is rejecting the image frequency. I have already talked about the image frequency. And after that, it is giving me better SNR. After that, we have a mixer. So mixer is the combination of a product modulator and a bandpass filter. So the product modulator will give me two frequency FL plus FM and FL minus FM. So FL was the frequency of the oscillator which is going to the mixer. So here I am rejecting FL plus FM and I am selecting FL minus FM to pass to the IF amplifier. So now here the thing to be noted is that FL was equal to FM plus FI and here FM was detected. So this tuned capacitor is detecting my FM. So here the frequent local oscillator frequency is also the combination of FM and FI is fixed. So if FM will change the FL will change. So FL will is directly dependent upon FM as soon as FM will change FL will change because FI is a constant 455 kilohertz so I need to tune this uh, oscillator as well to this capacitor so now the same capacitor is used to tune RF amplifier as well as the local oscillator in the mixer so it is called the GAN capacitor so now after that the intermediate frequency will receive so FL minus FM would always be 455 kilohertz it will go to the IF amplifier the IF amplifier will amplify only those frequencies whose range is 455 kilohertz it will keep the other frequencies attenuated it will not amplify the other frequencies after that it is going to the demodulator the demodulator is a second demodulator the first was the mixer because mixer was also acting like a synchronous demodulator. So this is my second receiver here will extract the signal, will amplify the voltage of the signal, here will amplify the current and the loudspeaker will convert the current into the vibrations in the air. So it is converting the electrical signal into the physical form. So now coming to the various properties which are interesting properties about the superheterodyne receiver. The first property is why I have chosen the intermediate frequency to be 455 kilohertz only. So I have already told you the quality factor in the tuned radio frequency receiver as well. The quality factor was equal to FM upon delta F, FM upon bandwidth. So the bandwidth was always fixed, bandwidth was 10 kilohertz. So if FM, so here at all of the levels, the frequency which is going is 455. So it would be 45.5. The quality factor is now 45.5. And in my previous video only I told you the quality factor maximum it should be 80. And the best quality factor is in between best Q is in between 40 to 50. So it is 45.5. It is very best. So now why it is 45.5 only? Why can't be it is 45? Because it's the uh, first detector which was designed using 455 frequency and after that it was used as a convention. So now Coming to the next property that why only 455. So we can take some lower frequency as well. If I take some lower frequency, the alpha would change. So alpha is the ratio of gain of my desired frequency upon the gain of my image frequency. So gain of FM 
अपॉन गेन ऑफ इमेज फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इफ एल्फा इज द गेन ऑफ एफ एम एंड गेन अपॉन गेन ऑफ इमेज फ्रीक्वेंसी सो एल्फा वुड डिपेंड अपॉन द क्वालिटी फैक्टर एंड रो सो नाउ इफ आई हैव द क्वालिटी फैक्टर एंड रो द क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ आई टेक द क्वालिटी फैक्टर टू लेस सो इफ लेट सपोज माई एफ एम इज लेस देन फोर फाइव फाइव सो इफ आई टेक द क्वालिटी फैक्टर लेस देन एफ एम सो इफ क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज लेस विच मेक्स दिस फुल टर्म टू बी लेस सो एल्फा वुड बी लेस सो द गेन ऑफ एफ एम इन रिस्पेक्ट टू द गेन ऑफ इमेज फ्रीक्वेंसी वुड बी लेस सो गेन ऑफ एफ एम अपॉन गेन ऑफ एफ एम डैश इज लेस सो गेन ऑफ एफ एम मीन्स द गेन गिवन टू द मैसेज सिग्नल एंड द गेन ऑफ एफ एम डैश मीन्स द गेन प्रोवाइडेड टू द इमेज फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल सो इफ द मैसेज सिग्नल इज प्रोवाइडेड मोर गेन दैन द इमेज फ्रीक्वेंसी then it will easily reject the image frequency so if q would be very less alpha would be very less and gain of fm in comparison to fm dash would be very less so that time the rejection of image frequency would be very difficult so what i want at the receiver i want fm so i'll provide more gain to fm but when i am taking q to be less the gain of fm is less so in comparison to fm dash so or i can say the gain of fm dash has increased so at the output i'll get the image frequency as well if i am reducing the value of quality factor so i cannot reduce the value of quality factor in super heterodyne receiver after some point so now it also depends upon rho so rho is fm dash upon fm minus fm upon fm dash so this is the value of rho so now in my previous video i gave you an example that if my input fm was input frequency was 600 then fm dash was 1510 now if i am taking fm to be 800 then fm dash would be 1710 so now the audio frequency range was in between 540 to 1650 kilohertz so now all these are in kilohertz so all of them so now if i am talking about the 800 kilohertz so if i have the frequency range greater than 800 kilohertz that time image frequency will never occur because it is not present in the range of the amplitude modulated signal so all of the signals which are greater than 800 will never have this problem the lower frequency signals would have this problem but if i am considering my fi to be less so let's suppose the fi is less in comparison to 455 so i am taking let's suppose fi to be 45 so or for simplicity let's take it 50 so fi is 50 now so fm was equal to what was fm fm was equal to fl minus fi so fl minus fi and i am taking fm to be 800 now so 800 minus plus 50 is equal to fl now if i talk about this is my 850 so 850 is my fl so now if i talk about fm is equal to fm dash is equal to fl plus fi so now that time fl was so fm dash is 900 so if i talk about here 
here when fm dash was 800 that time 1700 was not transmitted but here if i am talking about 850 so that time 900 is present in the signal so audio frequency signal will pass this 900 frequency value as well so let's understand it again so if i have intermediate frequency 50 instead of 455 i am taking a less intermediate frequency this was the first region this was the first reason why quality factor cannot be very less this is the second reason why quality factor cannot be very less so in the second reason if i took fi is equal to 50 so when fi was 50 the quality factor would be so for this quality factor would be 50 upon 10 is equal to 5 so quality factor is very less the complexity of the circuit would be very less so fm was equal to fl minus fi if i am taking this fm for this fm the fl was fl would be fm plus fi which is 850 so now we will find out the image frequency so the image frequency is represented by fm dash fm dash is fl plus fi so fl plus fi in this case is 900 but in this case it was 1710 which was not present so it was auto automatically rejected but here up to a larger frequency image frequencies would be present and the problem of image frequency and the crosstalk due to image frequency would be present so So up to the larger frequency range, the problem of crosstalk due to image frequency will be present. So now this was the reason why Q should not be very less. Now the next question would be Q. Why Q cannot be large? So if I am taking this uh, intermediate frequency to be very large, so let's suppose it is. 1500 so if i divide it by 10 i'll get 150 as the quality factor i already told you the quality factor upon greater than 80 would be difficult to design so it would be costly as well so the cost increases exponentially with increase in the quality factor and obviously the bandwidth problem would be there in my trf lecture where i discussed the limitation of the tuned radio frequency i already told you how due to same quality factor there i took the quality factor to be 80 and i found out the bandwidth requirement for 80 quality factor for different range of signals and there i saw the range of frequency would increase but the bandwidth is same which is 10 kilohertz for an so this is the reason why quality factor cannot be very large so i am concluding my session here in my next video i'll be talking about the local oscillator frequency and some important information about that so stay tuned for that video i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe this channel and push the like button thank you